It's time for your Hornbeak Network News with head anchor man J.D. Batchelor and your reporter in the field, Justin Stroud. Hey guys, this is J.D. with Hornbeak Network News. A little different setting today, but still the same great stories. Let's get started. This last Tuesday, we went down to Black Oak Elementary for school. Boo school! Children from all over Hornbeak were invited for a family-friendly night of candy, fun, and a few frights. Several bouncy houses were brought in, and they even had a pumpkin carving contest. All in all, it was a great night, and if you are not able to attend, we've posted several pictures of the night on our Facebook page and invite you to help us tag the parents of the children involved. In other news, there was a lot of commotion in downtown Hornbeak during the Boo School. For more on this, we go down to Justin Stroud in the field. Justin, take it away. Thanks, JD. I am here at the local Airmat, located in front of Bestway, where earlier today a lot more than dogs barking was going on. There was quite a commotion as a helicopter was actually transporting one Felicia from Kentucky to Jackson Medical. She was involved in some sort of four-wheeler accident in which she flipped her four-wheeler. We don't know a lot of details, not even Felicia's last name. So if our viewers could simply comment below and tell us what they know about the accident, we would be very appreciative. Thanks, JD. Back to you. Interesting. The Hornbeak Fire Department contacted us this week to let us know that they will be clearing the fire hydrants this week, which means a possible decline in water pressure as well as a slight discoloration. That's all from us here at Hornbeak Network News. Small town, big stories. This is JD. Good night, Hornbeak.